Hi guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. Today I have an Amazon coat haul for you. Um, I wanted to do a try on for something that you can hopefully get pretty quickly. So I know that shipping times right now are pretty crazy, um, even more so than a normal holiday season. So if you are needing a winter coat, I found several that ship prime and I'm going to try these on for you and see if we can find some good things. I can already tell you that I'm loving some of these. So let's go ahead and get started. Just wanted to quickly say that I threw on probably the most basic outfit I possibly could to try these coats on uh, so we can keep the focus on that. But this is an old t-shirt from Gap. Um, this is a cardigan, like a cropped cardigan from Kohl's. I'm not sure if it's available, but I will link it if it is. An old necklace from Kohl's as well. And then these are some American Eagle high-waisted skinny jeans. I love these jeans, and I haven't talked about them in a video yet, but I'm going to very soon, hopefully. And then these boots are some Chelsea boots that I love. These are from Target, and I shared these in a recent Target haul, so I will also link that as well. All right, let's get on to the coats. This first coat is from Mud Pie, and I got a size medium, which is my normal size. I will say it is pretty big on me, so I'm going to have to size down, but this is a really gorgeous coat. I really love this neutral plaid design. It has the black and white kind of window pane plaid that is so pretty and so flattering. And then it's a really light beige. It has this big collar and it's just a wrap style coat. It does not have buttons, it just wraps and then has this belted tie. Um, it does have pockets right here. And this is about how long it is on me. It does have a vent in the back. But as you can see, even tying it really tight, it's poofing out right here so much. It is huge on me. So I had it all the way wrapped to here and then wrapped all the way around and it's just puffing out so much. So this is definitely something that I should have sized down one, maybe two sizes. Um, it's just not... I didn't expect it to be this oversized, and I don't think the description read oversized, so I'm a little bit surprised on that. But it is a gorgeous coat, and if it fit, it'd be beautiful. Imagine it more like that. <laughs> but it is a beautiful coat. I would call this a lighter weight jacket. If you saw my Old Navy try-on, I talked about the difference, um, at least in the Midwest, between what I call a church coat and what I would say would be an actual winter coat. This is going to be more of a lighter jacket. It would be something that you could throw on when it's something that you want to be dressed up for a little bit more. So, you know, you're running from a car to whatever event you're going to, but not something that you're going to be hiking through the woods in or anything like that. This does only have 1% wool, so it's not itchy at all. Super, super soft, and it is lined, so that's really nice. It um, has this satin kind of lining there, so it is a good coat. Just make sure you size down. Our next coat is by Kenzie, and this is a gorgeous blush pink coat that has this really pretty ruffle detail that goes down the front. It is a zipper closure, but the ruffle kind of hides that, so I think that's really, really nice. Um, it does have pockets with a hidden zipper, which is also really nice. You can zip those closed if you're not using them. Um, this coat is definitely running on the small side, so first we had big and now we have small. Um, I can barely move my arms, like if I did move my arms all the way, I'm sure I'd probably tear something um, in the coat, but it is gorgeous, so I would just say size up one from your normal size for sure. Um, but it is beautiful, I love the shape of it, and I think it's definitely a dressed up coat. This one has 14% wool, um, it's not super scratchy on the outside, but it is going to keep you a little bit warmer than that first coat will. Um, it has a satin lining, which is really pretty, that's shiny satin material. And yeah, I love this one, the only thing I would say is that I can't really fold this collar down and have it stay down, it wants to stand up. So that is something to consider um, because you can't <laughs> really fold that ruffle down. So it does have a button there that you can button the other side and fasten it that way. But I don't know how you're going to do that um, because it's just, I don't know, it's a little bit tight like this. So maybe if you sized up one it would lay better. But 
um, for this. It's just not wanting to lay down, so it's going to be standing up, but I don't mind the look. But I do like the ruffle. I think it's gorgeous, and I love this color. So I think this is a really classy and elegant coat. Um, you could definitely wear this to a dressed-up event, um, and I love it with the black, actually. I think that's a really cute look. So get your size up one, and you'll be good to go. And then here's what it looks like unzipped. Still can't fold that collar down. <laughs> it just wants to stick up, but it is beautiful. So far, this coat is definitely my favorite. This is a beautiful coat. So this is from Guess, and this is a size medium as well, um, but this one actually fits me the way that I would expect a medium to fit. Um, it has this really cool fur collar, or faux fur, I'm sure. And what's neat about it is that it buttons off. So if you want to remove that, you have this little collar here. And then it has these beautiful silver buttons that go down to your waist. It has this really gorgeous detail at the waist that really gives it some shape. And then it flares out and has these really nice pleats. And it just is so pretty, such a dressed up coat. Um, it does have pockets, which are hidden in the pleat, which I think is a really nice detail, so you don't see that extra bulk, but you have that just really pretty line. And then the sleeves are gorgeous, too. You have that kind of like short sleeve look on the top, and then it flares out into a bell sleeve. And I just think it's so pretty and flattering, very dressed up and girly. Um, I like this color. It's kind of a yellowy ivory color, so it's really gorgeous for winter. It's just like walking in a winter wonderland over here. I love this coat. So I think this would be beautiful dressed up. Um, I think you can wear it like I'm wearing it, just with some jeans and boots and be fine. But I think with a really pretty dress, how gorgeous would this be? So I love this one. It fits perfectly. This one has, I think it was 45% wool, so it is going to be a lot thicker as far as keeping you warm. Um, so it's not just a decorative coat, which I like as well. It actually has some <laughs> warmth to it. So I really like the buttons. I really like the removable collar. I just think this is a stunning coat. Just beautiful. So I highly recommend this one. Here's a close-up detail of that collar that buttons off. So if you were to take that off, this is the collar that you would have left. Just a really short little collar there. I forgot to mention, but it is lined, and it's this really pretty floral pattern. So again, I love this coat. It has a little bit of a vintage look to it, and I think it's just beautiful. Okay, I have another coat by Guess, but this one is kind of the opposite of that last one. So the last one was so ladylike and feminine, and this one feels a little bit more masculine and tough. I really like this one too, though. So we have this gorgeous, like, houndstooth print pattern. Love that. I think it's so pretty and classic. Has this really cool detail on the collar that goes all the way down to the end. And it's this silver beaded detail. It's a really heavy silver beading, like it feels weighty, which is really nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it has this kind of shawl collar. It is open. And then has just a single button closure here that snaps. And then it has pockets, but it's not this flat pocket. Those are purely decorative. The pocket is actually the side pocket that you slip your hand into, so it's kind of interesting. Um, and then the sleeves are interesting as well. So you have this zipper detail here that you can unzip, and it unzips fully. So I'm not sure, I guess if you wanted to have room for a thicker sweater or something like that, you could, or just for a style, you could unzip it a little bit and have it flare out a little bit too. And then on the side, you have this kind of faux leather interior of the sleeve, and then it has this elbow patch. It's not one of those coats that you see every day. I feel like it doesn't get lost in the crowd with everyone else's. It's something that's unique and kind of cool. So it is a little bit oversized. I think it's meant to probably be that way, um, but this is a size medium, and I don't know. I'm wondering if I got a small, it would probably be too tight in the arms. So I like it the way it fits in the arms right now. I don't think I would want to do any tighter. So I think I would just kind of embrace this as an oversized coat. If you like that style, then I think you're going to like this a lot. It looks really pretty open as well. 
But yeah, I think this is just a different kind of take on a winter coat that you just don't see every day. And I really like this beaded detail. So yeah, I think this one is gorgeous. Okay, this coat is from Amazon. I wanted to give um, Daily Ritual a try. That's one of their brands. And I decided to go with your most basic kind of black wool winter coat. Um, I think it's one that everyone should own. Everyone probably has owned at least once in their life. Um, I love this style of coat, honestly. I think it is simplistic but beautiful. And I think that this is a good one. This is 11% wool, but it feels very, very soft on the outside. It has this simple kind of thin notch collar here, and it looks kind of like a wrap coat, but if you undo the belt, you do have two buttons right here to hold it closed. Um, I should have probably gotten a four. I got a size six, which would be my normal size, and I think it's a little bit big um, right here. So not sure that I love that, but other than that, it's really, really pretty. It's again, heavy like those last couple coats were where you're gonna actually stay warm. It's not just um, for beauty, it's actually for function sake. So I like that a lot. Um, and it's just a simple black coat. I think that they don't get enough credit. I think that they're beautiful. Obviously, you can pair this with anything, so it's not just a dressed up coat, it's a wear with jeans, wear with leggings, whatever kind of coat. Um, I really like the length of it too, it goes right to my knees, and I'm 5'8". So yeah, this one is beautiful, has pockets, it's lined, it's cozy and warm. Um, I would just probably size down one, but I love this one. Okay. <laughs> I always tell you guys I show you the good and the bad because I think it's important. Um, otherwise, I don't see the point in sharing anything. So I do want to talk about this, but it'll be a quick one. This is from Aster the Label, and I was really excited to try on a teddy coat. I don't have one, and I've wanted one for a long time. This is a actually really pretty rust color. It's almost an orangey rust, like... It leans very, very orange. It has these big patch pockets in the front, and other than that, it just has a two snap button closure. Um, pretty simple as far as style goes, but it just is really big on me. Big here, but it's like tight in the sleeves, so this also feels a lot more like I'm wearing, I don't know, a cardigan. It does not feel like a heavy winter coat at all. Um, weight wise or warmth wise it is lined um it's kind of an interesting lining but yeah i just i i don't think this is the one i'm feeling a little bit like a muppet <laughs> but um i don't know i think i think we can do better for a teddy coat than this one so i can't say that i'm loving this but I did switch out my boots. I put on these really cool boots from Target. Um, I will link my shoe haul if you missed that, but I think these are gorgeous. Gonna skip the coat though. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, I'm loving this next one. This is from Calvin Klein, and this is a faux suede coat. It's a really pretty gray color. It has a faux shirling lining, and what I love about it so much is that it is lined throughout the entire coat with this. So the sleeves, the entire interior, everything, um, all the way down to the bottom there, which is going to give it a lot of warmth. I hate when they have, like, maybe a collar or a cuff or something like that, but then the rest of it isn't lined like that. I just don't see the point in just being decorative when you're talking about something that's functional like a winter coat. So I really appreciate that. Um, it can zip all the way up and folds down like this if you leave it open a little bit. has an asymmetrical zipper that goes down to the middle at the end and it does have zippered pockets, this really pretty gunmetal color, and inside is just that faux suede interior. Um, I also like that these cuffs are adjustable, so they're not sewn down, so you can completely uncuff it if you want to and have it long like that, or you can adjust it any way you want. Um, that's what it would look like uncuffed, so it's pretty long. But you can adjust it if you have shorter arms and you need to cuff it up more, you can. I really like that about it too. It has this seam detail right here and has a little bit of seam detail in the back. But other than that, it's a fairly simple coat. 
but it's beautiful. It's incredibly soft. Definitely the softest coat I put on. Um, and this is one that I think looks really great casual, but I still think you could dress it up a little bit depending on what you're wearing. I think it looks awesome with the faux shirling of the boots. Just pair those two together. I think it's a really fun look. So let me show you what it looks like unzipped. You do have two bottom buttons right there so you can co close it completely if you want to. But this is what it looks like open and I really love that look too. Just having all that shearling like that. It's just beautiful. So I really like this one a lot. Um, I think it's flattering. It's form fitting but it's not too tight to where you can't move. I just love everything about it. So this one is definitely a winner. Probably my favorite coat. Okay, one more that I'm not so sure about, but we'll breeze through it really quickly. Um, this is another coat from Mud Pie, and this is a size small. So in the first coat, I should have sized down, and in this coat, this is a small, and I feel like it's still a little bit oversized, but it definitely fits better than a medium would have, so I'm glad I went with a small in this. Um, it is still more like a cardigan, I would say, kind of like that teddy coat that I tried on. Um, it's lined, but it is really thin, so I don't know how warm it's going to keep you. Um, to be fair, I think they did call this one a jacket, and I would definitely consider it more of a jacket. It's definitely not going to be a winter coat, but it is a shorter length than the rest of the coats I've tried on. has these patch pockets on the front. Um, other than that, it's just a cream-colored, like, fleecy fabric, and... I think it could be cute. I don't love it on me, but I think it could be cute on some people. Um, but yeah, it's just not a heavy winter coat. Definitely more of a jacket. It is very cozy, so I will give it that. It would be really great just to wear, like, lounging around the house, something like that. But I wouldn't probably be wearing it out in any kind of winter weather. All right, that does it for our try on haul today. I hope it was helpful for you guys. If you are in need of a winter coat and you're trying to get it quickly and not wait weeks for shipping, then hopefully one of these can do the trick for you. I think we found some really great ones. Maybe steer clear of the teddy coat. Not so sure about that. But other than that, I think we found some really great ones. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I will catch you in the next one. Stay warm and stay safe and I'll see you soon.